Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss what concat function in MySQL database. So, concat function is used to concatenate or combine two or more column values. So, right here, I'm using the table as top. So, this is the records and this is the columns inside as top or table. So, let's uh, see the query. So, right here, let's write to select a statement. So, right here, first I'm going to concatenate first and last name columns so right here select and you have to write first underscore name and here after let's give last underscore name now here after let's use concat function And here, give the table name from a star. So, add here, let's execute that. So, see at here, our first name and last name can catenate. The first name is my, and here, last name is helper. So, here, this is the things. And here, after, oh, here it's uh, they're displaying all uh, the column name can cat, first name, last name. So if you don't want this one, so add here, let's use as. So as here after, let's give full underscore name. So in place of this, that will display full underscore name. So add here, it's a displaying. And second thing, if you want, if you want to give the a space between a first name and last name. So add here, comma, here after single code, here a space. Here after single code, here after comma. Now, if you execute this query, so see at here, the, uh, here this is the name space between first name and last name. Now, here after, if you want to include some uh, columns at here, so let's give comma and here after, let's uh, write first underscore name, here after last underscore name. And after I'm going to include one more comma column in email. Now if you execute here, so see add here our full name. So add here in place of this, this all it's a display full name. And here after first name, last name, and email. So add here the full name. So first name my Kilva. So that here it's a display my Kilva. And second name John Stephen. Uh, so it's a display John Stephen. So you want to encode add here or uh, one more column. So add here, give the comma, and here I'm going to include email. So email I'm going to encode, and here after let's give single code. Here after single code and comma. So first. So add here the that display first time a space second a last time here after a space email. So let's execute that. So see at here full name. So add here first time, last time, and here this is the email. So add here the first time, last time, and this is the part of email. Here, first time, last time, and this is the past part of email. So, this is the way. So, add your concat function accept more than two parameters here. And if you want to concatenate to a string values with numeric. So, see, add your oh, stuff, add is the numeric value. So, you can just write add your stuff underscore id. Now let's execute that. So see at here or oh, at here numeric value as top. So that can carry it with a string value last time and email. Now here after another thing is so at here let's just check the record. So at here I'm going to concatenate here. So password has so this has some values and next is null. So at here I'm going to concatenate user and password. So here let's copy and paste it down. So add here. 
so and i am going to give user so can trying to concatenate with password so give it a password now here after this the user mike here so when uh, john try to concatenate with none so let's see what happened so at here when mike concatenate with password so this value is returning so when the john is trying to concatenate with null so at here it's a returning null only so see at here the username is john so when trying to concatenate with null so at here the output is returning null so this the things at here so this the concat function this the beauty function so generally used to concatenate columns or values or column record now next i'm going to try to concatenate with or uh, without any concat function so add here so let's use select a statement and you're trying to concatenate with first name and here let's give plus and your last underscore name of from table name as star so plus uh, operator generally used to concatenate two columns so let's execute that so and here i'm getting the output only zero so if you use and here or operator so or operator also used to concatenate here yeah. so it's also again it's returning zero so that means if you are using or operator in oracle or sql server database so this will return some values but at here if you are using plus or or operator in my sql so this is returning none so this is the difference so this is the all those things about concatenate function so concatenate function is used to combine or column values and here you can give column values more than two so this the things so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you